100 grams. I still have my ice cream before I started eating it. My little uh, OTD for the day is so cute. Like, this is so cute. Cozy. Although, I feel like it's kind of giving fall, but this sweater is so thin. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have did me. No justice in the fall. But, hey y'all. Happy Thursday. Welcome back to another vlog. Your girl is about to head out. Um, I'm about to get passenger princess. Okay, so I can't even tell y'all what I'm about to go do, what I'm about to do, nothing. I'm just about to go be a passenger princess, okay? So, um, yeah, this is the outfit. I have on this set from Fashion Nova that I've had um, for a couple of months. My Uggs. Um, I got this sweater from my mom's closet and I put it on as a shrug instead of like as a full sweater or whatever. Um, bag is Charles and Keith. I'm on the way to you, baby. You know the good moments when you're on the stage before you ever have thousands of people. To me, yeah, it's awkward. Because it really makes me yeah. happy. I just left from getting my little drinky drink. So now uh, we're about to go ahead to go get something to eat from the place that I went to with Yana this summer actually. So I'm excited to see if the menu has changed there. Cause we got wings when we went, when I went with Yana. My face is breaking out right now, y'all. Mm. I'll see y'all when we get to some food because I haven't ate since this morning. I'm not really all that hungry, but if they have the same menu, I know that food was good. It was wings, but I don't know if I'm gonna get wings again this time, just because I feel like I should try something different, but we'll see. Continental Drift, but we had church rehearsals and their kitchen or food truck didn't open until 5, so we left and went to Birmingham Chicken and Waffles, which was really, really good, y'all. I definitely recommend because they surprised me, but then we ended up at Jenny's um, later that night for some dessert, so yeah. <laughs> We're at Jenny. The Jenny Jenny Jenny. Uh, I feel like I look so pretty. My lovey is so messed up. The camera is so dark. I didn't even show y'all my ice cream before I started eating it. It's almost gone, but it's so good. Like, 
so good. Happy Easter! So it is Easter Sunday and I'm just about to do my makeup. I haven't talked to y'all in a while, actually. I think, when was the last time I picked up the camera? I think it was like on Thursday, maybe? Was that Thursday, I think? Yeah, but I haven't really talked to y'all over the past couple days. I'll catch up with y'all after church, though. But I'm about to do my makeup and I'm about to film a TikTok. So this is probably like gonna be sped up a bit i don't know i really haven't decided yet i don't know which one i want to be sped up either youtube or tiktok because it's like girl we can't do both okay um the outfit that i have on <sighs> mm -hmm. i told y'all i don't know well if you were on my live last night on tiktok i was telling y'all i do not have anything to wear or i didn't know what i was gonna wear so i really just had to throw something together and I did not want to wear jeans today because it's Easter, but I have on jeans, y'all. I have on jeans. But let me do my face so I can start getting ready because it's Easter and you know everybody try to come to church on Easter. So out of all days, I need to make sure I'm on time today. <laughs> oh, we don't have any music. Pause. Dang it, it's bloody. Why y'all didn't pull up? And it really did hit today. We need music. Music makes me lose control. Music makes me. Everything else can wait. Get ready with me for Easter. Me. She said she has. I think she said she has two of my packages. Pull up. Hop out real quick, real quick. I'm not even about to park. I don't know if that's straight or not, but she gonna say something to me because these show is her eye patches, but <laughs> I don't care. I don't know what these two packages are, but we'll find out later. Bro keep leaving, something gonna leave his face missing? Yeah. Drugs, some, yeah. Some, some, yeah. Yeah. Baby's off white. These ain't no Harachis. Hey y'all, happy Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. After, I feel like my camera looks a little dirty. Am I tripping or not? Let me take these off because I've literally had these on for so long at this point and I really don't know if they're actually doing anything or not. Oh, I don't think I had them in the right place. They weren't placed in the right place. spot because I can tell they did something to my skin and the place that they Actually, maybe you're not supposed to leave them on that long. But then again, I feel like actually if I had them in the right spot, under my eyes would probably look really, really good right now. Anyways, y'all, it's Monday. And I said I was gonna catch up with y'all from over the weekend because I didn't talk to y'all for real like that over the weekend. Um, so I am currently ew, what is all that little, little smoke stuff? Are they working up here? Over the weekend, um, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? I feel like it was stuff that I was gonna talk to y'all about, but I didn't forgot now. That's why I shouldn't go that long because now I done forgot. I found this new Asian buffet. Well, it's new. It's not really that we found. It's new. Um, but we went there, y'all, and it was good and bad. Like, <laughs> we went to the Asian buffet, right? And the Asian buffet has hibachi there, too. So, we ate, for, we ate like, Chinese food and stuff like that first, right? And so, like, the orange chicken and stuff. And that was really, really good. Loved it. The egg rolls, everything was really, really good. But, y'all, when I tell y'all, when I tell y'all, and I don't know, the hibachi wasn't really, I feel like I already knew in my spirit that the hibachi wasn't going to get because I really wasn't too impressed with the hibachi. And I was already kind of full off of my first plate there. But, we ended up going up there to get the hibachi and I was already like a little eh, iffy about the whole process because the way that you do it, I don't really like the way that they do it. I don't know, something about it just seemed a little bit unsanitary to me because you put your meat and stuff on your plate and then you take it over to the hibachi bar or whatever for them to cook it. And then they bring it back out to you. So they have the undone meat there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's normal. But 
to me it just seems a little off so my question was are they giving us our food back on the same plate that we gave them with the undone meat with the uncooked meat you know but anyways i did, literally didn't even eat it because he took a bite of his food and then when he took a bite of his food he, i was watching him to see what it was going to give and he literally didn't even finish it he spit it out into the napkin so i went ahead i was like oh okay that's all i have to know i went ahead and slid that paper plate right on over didn't even touch it because no i'm not even gonna play because it already just seemed weird in the first place so yeah but we went to the little asian buffet and it was so good minus that part and they had the uh chinese donuts or asian donuts i don't know which one it is but i love them so bad y'all and i haven't had them since i was young because it used to be this place called actually i think it is still eating like ends like, seafood i think we still have ends like, seafood around here but i don't know it, it maybe i'm tripping or maybe they just don't have it on their menu no more but i know when i was younger it was this food place connected to the the corner store gas station and they had those little powdered well not it's not even powdered sugar it's like little sugar donuts or whatever and i've literally remembered those all of my life like i will never get them and so when i seen them at the buffet i was like i was so happy y'all i was so happy i literally ate that before i ate the rest of my food yeah easter sunday um i don't think i picked up the camera again on easter i think the camera cut off on me while i was getting ready to i was trying to do a little easter get ready with me because i was on live the night before easter and i was just asking y'all like what do y'all want to see a couple of y'all said like a vlog of me getting ready on sundays and stuff before church and after church on sundays and stuff so i kind of wanted to just incorporate me getting ready but i ended up running out of storage while i was doing my makeup and instead of me choosing to like go delete some stuff so i can continue filming i just went ahead and finished getting ready because i was like okay you know i don't have time for this this morning <laughs> but i really didn't do much yesterday on easter either so it wasn't really nothing that y'all missed out on but it's monday i'm looking forward to this week i'm excited for this week i have a lot of content and stuff that i want to get done i have a couple of different ideas of things that i want to shoot i also have um some actual like campaigns and stuff like that to shoot that is mandatory but outside of that i also just have like some creative ideas that i want to get done this week so yeah and then also I, i'm gonna have to fix my nails because i don't know if i told y'all or not but yeah my nails literally broke because i guess i should have made the sns thicker i don't know what i want to do with my nails now because a couple of them the way that they broke it's like i can't really do the same shape again and i really don't want almond like i really like the square i really want to keep the square going on but I don't have any nail tips, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. And then my thumbnail, I went ahead and tried to do a quick fix so I wouldn't have to just redo my nails all over. And I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna just shape them all men or whatever, but I did my thumbnail all men, and I'm like, yeah, actually, no, I really don't want that shape. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, but I know for a fact, for the campaigns and stuff like that, that I have to shoot, my nails have to be done, so I have to figure that out. And, I feel like I'm rambling on a whole lot, but another thing, my skin, y'all have so many little marks over here on the side of my face. This is usually my good side, but this side is catching up to this side. I'm getting really serious about my skin and I'm going to have to buckle down about the stuff that I'm eating because baby you no know, this skin gotta be on glass this summer like before the summer right now it needs to be on glass it don't need to be given all these marks so one thing i know for sure or that that i realized actually really really helps is icing your face because when i look back at my skin when i was icing my face morning and night um consistently that's when my skin was literally the best it's ever been in my life i was glowing without makeup like i was just oh and i was getting so many compliments on my skin and people were just like what are you doing to your skin like your skin is glowing da, da, da. and i just had to think to myself what was i doing during that time that i'm not doing now because my skincare routine literally stays the same because y'all know i can't use a lot of stuff because my sensitive skin so i'm like what was i using other than the stuff that i'm using right now and i was like oh. 
I was icing my face. And ever since I started, I only did it twice, but I can literally already tell a difference in my hyperpigmentation. Cause y'all know I have really bad, well, I'm gonna say I used to have, cause I feel like your words are powerful with everything. It, like I know sometimes it's like, girl, you're doing too much, but still. This area right here is my most problematic area when it comes to that. And I've literally only iced my face twice and it's already getting better. And icing my lips is kind of like brightening up my lips as well. So I don't really know the science behind that, but but I feel like I've been rambling on for so long. So I will check back in with y'all when I get settled. So yeah, I just wanted to catch y'all up a bit. Monday and we were ready to get this party started girl we're ready to get this week started okay I don't think I have my scissors hey y'all okay so it is I don't know I, I always say okay so but anyways it's um Wednesday now I believe yeah it's Wednesday I really didn't do much um for real yesterday but I did want to open up these packages that I got I just got off of a call I know I'm messing up my nails, but they're literally already, already messed up. I just got off of a Zoom meeting, a tech call, because I will be doing socials again for James Fortune. So we had a meeting this morning really quick. Wait, what else did YSL send me? I was not expecting this. Okay, so we got some more Yee Saint Laurent. What is this? Oh, this is black opium. Okay, so we got some more wide sale. Mmm. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I told y'all my perfume collection is tea and they're all being sent. Okay, let's smell this because I actually have never smelled um black opium. So let's see what this smells like. I don't even know what the packaging looks like. Oh, actually, I think I have. I've seen this before, haven't I? I don't know. I feel like I've seen this before. Let's see what this smells like. We may can wear this today. Oh, snap. Please don't break it. How, how does this work? Okay. Oh, yeah. That's, that's my type. I actually like this better than Libre. Cause it's like sweet. That's that's my type. So yeah, we're gonna wear this today. She smells good. Okay, and then we have one more. I'm not sure of what that is either. Oh, I think this may be, I think this may be Oh, I think I'm gonna need my scissors for this one. Okay, this is the Mugler. Isn't that how y'all said you pronounce it, Mugler? Because I think I was saying Muggler at first or something. Oh wait, my nail was getting it. We have the Alien fragrance. So, Hypersense. This is pretty. This is a pretty box, so I feel like the packaging, the actual perfume is gonna be really pretty too. I need to stop leaving my fragrances in my car because I think that messes up the fragrances, doesn't it? Like either heat or cold, something, one. I don't know, but I be leaving my stuff in the car because I usually take, oh, this one is pretty. Uh, I usually take my fragrances with me. I have a habit of leaving them in the car, but this is really pretty. I don't know if it's focusing. Yeah, that's really, I don't want to spray it on the box. Oh. Okay. That's like, what are the notes in this? I don't know what the notes are in this, but that's like a, it's kind of like fresh. It's a little fresh. It's hard to explain. I don't know, but. Thank you so much to McGlare for another fragrance. I love, love, love my other Mugler fragrance. It smells so, so good. Um, that's literally been my fragrance that I've been wearing 
um like kind of on the daily so yeah this smells good this is definitely probably like this is like a daytime type tint i feel like or maybe Yeah, this is definitely like a daytime, but I would have to smell it on its own because I feel like it's already a mixture of the YSL perfume with this one. So I would have to give this one, you know, its fair shot without something being in the background. Yeah, but we're about to head out. I'm going to go and run a couple of errands. We're going to go and get this new toothpaste that I've seen this girl say that she used and her teeth are really really white because I feel like the toothpaste that I got recently um the new toothpaste that I got I got the Sensodyne sensitive toothpaste and it's like for gum sensitivity and just basically like it's a healthy toothpaste I feel like it's not really too tough focusing on whitening and I feel like uh, I'm not really liking I'm not liking my teeth okay it may be keeping it healthy but the other one that I plan on getting is actually only supposed to be used a couple of times throughout the week or something like that so you're supposed to have a secondary toothpaste anyway so that's good I'll just have my healthy one and then I'll have my one that's still making sure that my teeth are staying pearly white okay and I need to get some new deodorant and I think we're gonna go to we're gonna go to Duncan even though it's literally 12 o'clock right now it's a little bit late it's a little late to be eating breakfast but i don't know hi can i have a iced vanilla latte um can we do decaf <coughs> and um do y'all have a bacon egg and cheese bagel uh-huh can i do one of those I have everything in plant. I mean, everything is sesame. You can do um, a everything bagel. That's my. Oh, I'm so far out. We actually only have sesame bagels. Yeah, we only have sesame Okay. Uh, do y'all have croissants? Yes. Okay, can you do it with a croissant? Thank you. I haven't had coffee in so long. That's tea. <laughs> Me and the word tea is going together so bad. I'm about to run over here to this beauty spot store so fast because girl, my scalp, that's what's not tea. Even though I'm doing it tomorrow, I'm washing it tomorrow. Because I have some content to film. And I'm actually really excited to try out this shampoo and conditioner that I got from Kitsch. And see if it really makes a difference. Because my scalp needs. The fact that I just washed my hair. Y'all know I just did my hair like literally. What was that, two weeks ago at this point? And it's already back like this. And I forgot that I have this stuff back here to take to Play-Doh. Well, it's not even stuff. It's literally a whole bunch of shoes. I'm going to take to Play-Doh a lot, a lot of heels. That I've literally, some of it, like, I've never even worn. Most of it I haven't worn. But I'm finally just getting rid of the stuff because it's like, girl, if, at this point, you've had this stuff for years. If you haven't worn it before, you're not going to wear it at this point. So just take it. And then y'all know whatever I take to Play-Doh and they don't take, I just take the Goodwill. But I'm really trying to see like if I want to do that or just post some of this stuff because some of these heels are super super cute like I know a couple of pair in there are super duper cute so I don't know if I want to just like throw them out like that what is this stuff in my hands this like what the crud Heather like I've been outside like working like a man ew and my hand sanitizer busted I'm sorry, would you like an end of the month biscuit or a biscuit bagel? Oh, none of those. None? Uh-uh. Oh, that's sad, because I really, really wanted a bagel. Oh, McDonald's has little bagels now. But McDonald's breakfast stopped at 12. Right I'm pretty sure I'm going to be, like, right down the street from Plato's. Where are these feathers coming from? Like, I hope a bird didn't like pass away on my vehicle. 
I just came out of the beauty supply store. I literally just picked up this little brush and comb set. Um, Cause I haven't had, or I have needed a new brush, like uh, what do you call it, a hard bristle brush, for a while. Um, so I just got that, and then they had a comb. I really needed a right to a comb, but they had a little set. So yeah, that's all I got. I was in there for the longest, so you would think that I had one of the whole shopping spree in there. Cause I was looking for something else to use on my scalp or whatever, but I didn't really have much luck. And did I pass it? Wait, no, I think it's up here. But, yeah, I literally forgot that, um, I forgot all about that stuff back there. And, y'all, I didn't end up getting anything to eat because Duncan, the first they said that they were out of the plain bagel, so all they had was sesame, the everything bagel, and the egg and the everything bagel so i said everything bagel then when i got to the window she was like they actually don't have a everything bagel so i asked did they have any croissants and she said yes so she was like all right y'all see she gave me my drink and she was like it will be out in a second so i'm sitting up here waiting and then she came back and was like so would you like um a sesame bagel an english muffin or something else and i was like oh none of those <laughs> so I didn't get anything to eat and I really really had my mouth set on that bagel I'm not gonna hold you I really did and I wish that it was early enough for me to go to McDonald's and at least get their bagel like a bacon egg and cheese bagel because that's what I really have a taste for I don't really have a taste for food or like lunch food right now so I don't know what I'm gonna eat you guys my coffee is actually so good because I don't know. I know I've always liked Dunkin', but I thought of it. I don't know what I was expecting to taste, but no, this is actually really good. I remember there was a like period of time where I actually used to love to get Dunkin' coffee. And I love the fact that it's decaf because now, I don't know why I wasn't doing it because the reason why I stopped getting it is because coffee always gives me like the jitter. A bird? Oh no, I was setting up my camera. <laughs> I should really have it like turned up like that. I don't know my driver's license number and I'm such an adult. I don't know how I'm gonna carry these at the same time, but um I'll get now y'all and honestly I'm in a section that I didn't even come in here for. But every time I do my moisturizer at nighttime when I get out like out of the shower and stuff. I just feel like my moisturizer isn't enough. Yeah, I'm putting on lotion and it's supposed to be moisturizing cream, but I don't like the fact that it doesn't give my body any type of shine and it dries out in like a couple of minutes because obviously anybody with eczema has dry skin. So I just don't feel like it holds. You know what I'm saying? But it's like I don't know anything else that I can use 
that would give those benefits that wouldn't break me out. So it's like, um, I don't know, should I try Aquaphor? But I don't think this is just like for overall use. I can see this breaking me out so bad. Um, yeah, I don't think I want to take that risk. Um, oh, this has vitamin E. I can't use Vaseline. Vaseline breaks me out. Um, you would think that like something like this would work. Because it's 4 x I don't know what the crap is on my hand. And it's actually irritating me. I don't know if I'm remembering right, but I feel like this kind of broke me out. But it says sensitive skin. Should I try it? Because I know that this makes my skin shine really good. Yeah, it doesn't have a fragrance, but. They have this. The Glow Better body oil. Let's see what all does it have in it. Safflower seed oil. Can't do it. But I really, really want something. 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 Y'all, I need a moisturizer. <laughs> To show you guys how simple it is, it's barely even a routine. Uh, Optic white renewal. I think it's this one. I think that's this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this one. So we're gonna be using this one like at nighttime, then use my sensitive in the morning or like flip flop, switch swap, whatever. How did they go? And then she said that she used the Philips Sunny Care toothbrush, but they are out of this one, which is pink. And y'all know I love pink, so of course I would love it to be in pink. So yeah, um, we'll wait for that part. Okay, so I got everything that I needed out of Tarjay. Honestly, I think that I'm just gonna wait until I get back to the house to eat and just cook. I think I'm gonna cook this um, orange chicken and rice from Trader Joe's. Cause at this point, it's two o'clock, about to be three o'clock. I really can't think of anything that I really want to eat, to be honest, so. My mind is really still on that bagel. <laughs> My mind is still on that bagel, but I'm gonna just cook when I get to the house. But anyways, it is later in the day. I didn't end up cooking, cause if I did, I would've showed y'all me cooking, but I didn't end up cooking, we just ate something else. I just got a text message saying that my uh, Play-Doh stuff is ready. So I'm about to head there and then while I'm on the way or while I'm out, I'm gonna take a bag the toothpaste that I just got from Target because I will not be using it. I brushed my teeth with it uh, earlier today and I'm glad that I did go ahead and get it out of the way so I could know because I can get this, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and take it back because me, me, y'all know how I am. Now those Pumi shirts, I did take back. But a lot of stuff, when I be needing to take it back, I never end up taking it back. Like I always forget. And then like it'll be too late or something like that. I don't know. But I just will never end up taking it back. And it's just like, I have the stuff for no reason. But y'all, I washed my, I washed my teeth. I brushed my teeth. And when I tell you, it started burning so bad. Like it was burning so bad and my gums, they actually feel like a little bit better now but y'all my gums i feel like they it burnt my gums so bad like that was the worst experience ever i don't think that has ever ever happened to me with brushing my teeth 
and I feel like my camera is a little bit too bright now but yeah like that's never happened to me with any toothpaste and I went back and read the reviews after I did it and somebody did leave a comment it was like if you have sensitive gums or teeth or whatever it's definitely going to do this and third and they wouldn't recommend it and stuff but that was really the only one that I've seen but it's just like no other toothpaste has ever ever did that to me and it's I guess it's from the hydrogen peroxide but I literally used hydrogen peroxide to rinse my mouth so I don't know I don't know what type of hydrogen peroxide they got in that toothpaste but babe, it's way stronger than I guess the little regular hydrogen peroxide I use on the regular so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and take her back because no I literally was I don't know like that literally felt like you know how people hate going to the dentist I feel like I don't know what they begin done at the dentist but that's probably like how it feel when people don't be liking to get go to the dentist and stuff I don't have no problem with the dentist but that right there yeah no no and don't get me wrong I do feel like I feel like my teeth are whiter I'm not gonna lie like I feel like if I was to keep on using this and this to be like my regular toothpaste that I was using, my teeth would be on Miss Pearl, okay? But I can't do it. Like, I, I know my Arm & Hammer whitening toothpaste will do it. I know a toothpaste that will do it without having me in pain brushing my teeth. So, yeah, we're gonna go see what all Play-Doh's got of these shoes, child. And then, um, go take the toothpaste back but I'm excited for tomorrow so I can like let this bun go because this bun is crusty and dusty I'm ready to do my hair y'all this is probably really fat of me and I know, last time I talked to y'all, my hair should have been done by now. What language was that? My hair should have been done by now. But, um, earlier, well, I think I got, like, a couple of clips of going to this little ice cream shop that was, like, ducked up. But I don't even think I showed y'all my, um, ice cream. But I didn't even end up getting ice cream. I got some, like, shaved ice. But, y'all, I came to the Asian buffet that I told y'all about. And... I technically went in there just for the donuts because y'all know I love the Asian donuts. But I was like, you know, it's a buffet, so it's like you can't really order anything specific and just get it. So I asked him, like, is there a way that I could just get some of the donuts? Um, you know? But ultimately he was like, he could give me a box of the donuts for $7.99. I'm like, how many gonna come in that box? And he was like, until you know, no more can fit. So, I mean, that was really nice, but I feel like what I ended up doing was better. He was like, or you could just get a box, which they have like a mixed selection, and you basically go, go back there and just stuff your box with whatever you want. So, y'all, this is the box, and I really sit up there and try to stuff it, literally, all the way. I got so much chicken, rice, noodles, I got an egg roll, and then I got the donuts that I wanted. I really hate that my donuts in here touching the stuff, but I'm going to eat these right now. But, y'all, this is literally so much. I tried to stuff it as much as I could. Um, I really more so focused on the meat. So, I got general so chicken, orange chicken, and then I got a little bit of bourbon chicken. I don't really know if I eat that. So, I just put a little bit in there. And then I love their egg rolls. Their egg rolls were so good. This is really what I came for. Then I put a little bit of rice and a little bit of noodles because I'm like, if anything, I can fix more rice. But we're going to stuff this chicken, this meat down, okay? So yeah mm. 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 so good it was so good but the reason why my hair isn't done is because i didn't realize until the last minute that the shampoo and conditioner has castor oil in it so I was gonna just wing it and wash my hair and stuff and do it last night um, when I realized that because I'm like, okay, as long as I rinse it, you know what I'm saying, get it back out of my hair. It's not staying in my hair. I should be fine, but I don't know. 
Uh, it's too close to the weekend and I don't need no types of breakouts or reactions. I'm about to run to Walmart and get my little shampoo and conditioner and do my little hair real quick. And then I think we're gonna go get my nails and toes done as well. But I'm more than likely gonna do that tomorrow. Oh no, I shouldn't have did that tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday, it's gonna be packed. I'm gonna have to figure something out with my nails and toes. Y'all, I want some more. This is not enough. And then when I was leaving out, because he had to bag up my food, he was like, did you get your Chinese donuts? He was like, they just came up too. I was like, yes, <laughs> of course. Now I need to drink some water and like literally go. I, I only need to be eating fruit. Cause I've been eating so bad this week. Where else can I get these donuts from? Cause I feel like $7.99 is just wild. Oh, and then y'all, I feel like my camera looks dirty. Get this. Let's get this party started. I don't know where I get that. Why I keep on saying that? And it's a little hot in here. Um, not like that. Like open. With that the cider is open. Did we look better like that? Let me go ahead and get to this store. So I'm gonna shampoo and conditioner so I can do my hair because I'm not really over this bun y'all for one I probably wouldn't be over the bun if it wasn't so dirty like it's so dirty that don't make no sense I really hate that because for one I would rather not be putting so much heat in my hair back to back like that I just did my silk press two weeks ago we don't we don't do that to our hair that often you know this it should be lasting a month and the silk press could last a month but my scalp is what's not lasting don't like going to get I do oh, I almost said a word I don't like going to Wally World like Wally World is not my store um where is it I really should have just got a little two pack oh but I don't see it Maybe I should use this one. This is the shampoo and conditioner I use, y'all. Because y'all always ask me what shampoo and conditioner I use. Because, I mean, I guess your shampoo and conditioner plays a part in how your um, silk press turns out. But this is also linked on my Amazon storefront, though. So, yeah, if you just click along my hair stuff, it's linked. Let's make sure we're not getting two conditioners. What is that? Shampoo conditioner. Y'all can't even see me. But, no, I forgot to tell y'all. Because I don't think I told y'all before I turned the camera off. Or before I went into Walmart. But, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to post it on here if y'all didn't see it on my story. But, she had me weak. And I didn't even much. Like, I didn't even take no offense to it. This sun. I don't even like these shades. But. Uh, the sun. I really don't even like these shades. But. This girl DM'd me about um, asking me my height, which I've stated numerous of times. And I'm sure it's in the comments, you know, because I always say my height because y'all be thinking I'm tall. So I have to put emphasis on the fact that I'm short. <laughs> um, but yeah, so y'all, I literally couldn't even much get mad. I didn't even take offense to it. I was literally weak when I seen the message. Like, I didn't even get mad. But... She was like, girl, you doing too much, da 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 This is the type of, that be me off. <laughs> and I, like, I don't know, the message didn't give me, but yeah, like, the girl, I didn't even take no offense to her message. Like, I feel like that's just, that, that just goes to show how cool of a person I am. Like, I'm really a cool person. I don't even much really... I don't know I don't trip on a lot of stuff for real for real but 
Every, most people were laughing like when they slid up on my story and stuff. Everybody was mainly laughing. But then knew some people were like, who's she talking to? Like, uh-uh. And somebody was like, I'm sorry that happened to you. Nothing happened to me. <laughs> Nothing happened to me. <laughs> Like it wasn't that deep. It wasn't that serious. It's not that serious, you know, but Love love the girls love the girls who care for me like that Um, and feel like that was like that serious to say, you know, sorry that happened to you But no, yeah, I really didn't take no offense to the message like the, the message really gave me like girl You want to be friends? That's what it's given to me like if she was that comfortable like that's how friends talk to friends she really just reminded me of my cousin like and my cousin the one who slid up she slid up on it too and i said it sounds just like you girl that sound as soon as i read that message it sounded just like my cousin because she loved telling some girl you're doing too much or something like that sound just like my cousin but yeah that was just so hilarious like that was my little kiki for today the hair is done but y'all i definitely feel like it's a little bit poofy I don't know what I did well it's probably because I washed my hair one night and then I finished it up the next day that's probably why but at the same time I do feel like it's a little bit more it looks thicker than usual and I really do like that so it's like a win-lose type situation I guess um but it's Sunday just got out of church well actually no we've been out of church for a little while now um, we went to go grab something to eat, but now I'm headed to my nail appointment so I can get my nails done Yeah, I'm so nervous because I've never been to this nail shop before and y'all know how I am when it comes to my nails and stuff, so I don't know wish me luck Lord Jesus I need prayers right now Seriously because I don't know how this is gonna go and I'm just really really nervous because I really want like French almond, but it's so much easier to mess up with like French well almond shape, you know, with length. So it's like I'm trying to see do I wanna like just get my natural nails done or do I wanna add a tip on and get the almond or whatever? Because that's the risky part. That's what I really want, you know? But it's just a risk. Oh I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't think I was supposed to turn it in right here. Pretty sure it's another yeah. Uh -uh, baby, I need this air. But anyways, yeah, I'm going in here. I'm about to pull up. Oh, it's some Midtown nails. Oh, they're probably closed today. It's Sunday, so a lot of places are closed. Oh, they're actually open. Oh, uh -uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the nails on that picture look atrocious. But yeah, so I'm going to get my nails done. I'm going to the probate tonight. So literally haven't been to a public since really. I don't know but oh it wasn't that long ago actually I'm going to a probate tonight so that's why I have to get my nails done my, that's not even why actually I just need my nails done period but we're gonna get ready and stuff together once I finish getting my nails done so oh I thought that was gonna be a part of spot was an accident, mom. This is so far. I don't really want to park this far down. It's 226. My appointment is at 230. Let's see if I can find somewhere else before. Oh, look at that. Look at God. Look at God. I don't know what it is, but I just can't park straight. I'm always going to back into a parking spot. Let's go get these nails done.
already do my lippy, but let's give it up for the girls. Let's give it up for the girls. I need some moisturizer on my hands. But my nails are so cute. Like they're giving, they're giving wifey hands, okay? We're about to head, it's 3.54 now. I really don't have to start getting ready all this early, to be honest. Mm. Oh, I need to go to Ulta and see if they have some setting spray. And yeah, we're gonna go to Ulta, and it's right over here in this same little plaza too, so that's perfect. I really wanted to wait until the Sephora sale, but y'all, I really don't shop at Sephora that much until like, I really just started shopping there as of recently, just because I don't know, I just wanted to. Know what what thought, what was my thought process with it as to why I just started shopping there more? That I only have like 243 points. Yeah, I'm, I don't have that many points, so I'm not a VIB member. So the insider sale or the like Sephora sale or whatever for the insiders doesn't start until I think the ninth or something. So yeah, I was gonna wait until then to get some settings and just get like everything else that I was planning on getting but I need setting spray like today. So we're gonna go over here to Ulta and see. I may just end up getting my little F1 for the day since I plan on getting some things from the, from Sephora. Oh, I don't know if it's just that my Ulta isn't like updated or up to date or NYX has a lot. They literally have, I, I feel like this right here is probably a dupe. This is probably a dupe for the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And that's what it's giving. That's what it looks like. Mm. I feel like everybody has been using this. And I was like, I really want to try it. The little black brow glue stuff. it will make any difference from the little Sephora stuff that I have on my brows now. Okay y'all, so I'm about to start getting ready and honestly, the outfit that I planned on wearing, I'm not even wearing. So really, I'm gonna go to this place in white, but I'm about to do a little bit of makeup. Um, literally, a little bit of makeup, okay? Just touch up the little bit that I put on um earlier like on my little spots or whatever i guess but it's really not gonna be much i have teeth whitener on my teeth too so if my teeth look weird then that's why it's the dissolving kind so like it doesn't really like it dissolves so i'm waiting until it's done dissolving and it's the one that i got from moon a while back so yeah my, ugh, what is all of this in this bag? Is, is it this? No, 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 no. Anyways, like I was saying, my hourglass concealer is literally on its last leg. But I just used these, um, the Peter Thomas Roth eye patches. And I'm trying to figure out, am I having a reaction to them or no? Or like, what's really going on here because it feels like i'm having some type of reaction but i just can't tell to what then again it could just be it working you know but put on a little bit more of the even though it's really not covering up no types of blemishes just making me darker and darker if we're being honest i'm cool with that don't mind a little bronze a little tan Cause that's really all it's doing. It's not really covering nothing up. But, oh well. <laughs> I don't know if I wanna blend this out with a beauty blender or a brush. I really want like a soft finish. I don't want my makeup to look like this. Um, this is barely even blending out. Like be so for real. Oh no, is it because of those eye patches? I thought if anything, eye patches are supposed to make your makeup look good for your under eye. I don't think the under eye patches are really working in my favor right now. This eye has a little bit more on it, doesn't it?
I don't think that patch made a like mark on my face. Like what the crap? Wait, it's on both. What do I do about that? I can't leave it just like on my face like that. It's always something. Now how am I supposed to fix that? Cause that's like literally oil. Something about it is really not doing it for me. I don't know if I want to put on setting spray. It's dissolved. <laughs> I literally barely have any lashes. I'm gonna let that dry down a little bit. I guess I'll go ahead and do my lip. I ended up going to, I mean, I ended up getting my old lip liner that I used to use by NYX because this right here literally stays, but this is not even a lip liner. This is actually an eyeliner, so that's probably why it stays for a long time versus the lip liners. But if y'all know a good lip liner that actually stays, Oh my oh lord, please. I don't have time for this. Okay, I actually do like it in like natural lighting, so we're good. Yeah, natural. Natural. Face, it's done.